June 26, 2014, Psalm 81 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Isaiah 66 23 and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me saith the Lord well tomorrow is a new moon and we got the chauffeur blowing here So there's the trumpet blowing on the new moon, new moon on the 27th here of June 2014. We got new moon right there, new moon and the constellation Gemini right before the Sabbath with the king planet Jupiter right above it. Okay, <clears throat> so when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice like when King David was in uh, Judea, uh, king of all of Israel. But when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn like Obama in office and verse 4. But when he receive a gifts, overthrow it. That means receiving bribes. Bribes to get in office, uh, bailouts back. So destroying the, com uh, the country and the people mourn. We got a report that UN Humvees are in Georgia um, for civil unrest. Uh, Revelation 24, and I saw the thrones of them that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Well, uh, Georgia HB... Uh, 1274 a uh, document ordered 30,000 guillotines in Georgia so that's about 600 per state and if you get about 40,000 per kidney that could be a lot of money uh, Matthew 24 22 and except those days be shortened there shall be no flesh saved so technology is killing us are we gonna have a nuclear bomb soon like this explosion all over the place technology lasers Robocops transhumanism cyborgs in your head so we got Obama who's a Sunni uh, I was born in Kenya birthplace of Barack Obama Kenya that is a Sunni Muslim country he was raised in Indonesia in a Sunni uh, country okay so he's got Sunni uh, uh, financing from Saudi Arabia to get an office and so you know all these Sunni countries are going at the Christians all right so that's what Obama's doing now he's funding Isis Sunnis and um, it says in Ezekiel 38 you know it says God will bring um, God will bring God which is Russia and Persia and Ethiopia and Libya uh, against Israel and then he'll destroy them down here with fire and brimstone and earthquakes and you'll know fire and brimstone and you'll know that he is the Lord all nations shall know it says right there so we can see that happening soon so let's be sure that you have salvation he that hath the son hath, hath life he that not have the son hath not life I've these things I've written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life. So you can know, okay? Believe and be baptized. You don't have to be baptized, but it's uh, an act of obedience. Some of what you're calling us. Some have been called apostles, prophets, evangelists, some pastors, teachers, perfecting the saints. So ask God, what is your calling? Every Christian has a calling. And so, the, you know, hopefully you've been called to the harvest because it's truly great, but the laborers are few. Says so Jesus, pray. Therefore, that the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into the harvest. Okay? Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. That's how I feel in Thailand, being a missionary. I'm a lamb among wolves here. This Buddhist country. So, you can see the second, uh, the third temple being built soon. Vatican has rights to it. The Balfour documentation, the Pope's been in Israel. Uh, doing his plans for that. This lady went to heaven, saw the light, and felt it kind of when I had my vision I saw the eye of God and the sun you can see my videos for that she had this peace and this this love and it just made a smile on your face and I've had that feeling and she, this lady died uh, and came back to life in the hospital or something she's talking about her near-death experience where she died for about a minute or two and she saw the light uh, top or not because the light the light is so awesome it's like a healing light. It's white. It's bright. It's not like light that we have. It is not. You just feel so good up there and everything is so beautiful. So, okay, so that's her experience of heaven. So this is what we have to look forward to. I had this vision. I don't know, I was in the shower. I had a vision of this whore and the devil. 
and then above it I saw angels above it. I don't know what it meant, but this is the vision I had, and there's lots of gold angels. And I don't know if that's the demon trying to attack me with the spirit of lust or whatever, but I know that's my weakness, and I have to rebuke it, and I'm sure everybody else does too. So, you know, just pray for me. And, you know, we're all just looking for Jesus to come back soon. And he is. We can see the signs. And our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. That's all I get. That's my daily bread. That's all I have. I don't get my monthly bread or yearly bread. I get daily bread. And forgive us of our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So any, any second, submit in your mind. This day, any second, you could be in heaven with the Savior and God in the world. You know, you're just one breath away. Jesus Christ, who created and died and resurrected for us. What great love. He has great love for humanity. So tell others. You know, if you tell others, you're wise if you... If you win souls, how great is the love? I encountered this love and peace when I had my vision, you know, in January 2014. I saw the eye of God underneath the sun, staring at the sun. First time I was, I was shocked. I didn't know what it was. And then I felt this feeling of peace and great love. And I smiled from ear to ear. And, and I knew this was God showing himself to me and his servant in Thailand to evangelize. Like John the Baptist in the wilderness, you know, I'm that voice. And Thailand spreading out the word so I just need some prayers uh, what for God to watch over me I have many evil spirits coming after me and many hindrances you know when you take souls out of the devil's hands and put them in Jesus hands the devil comes after you with full force so just, I need extra prayer and that's why I'm doing this video and I just want you to be aware of Obama and and the Muslims they are they want to kill us and it's straight from the pit of hell the devil and his demons have brainwashed them pray for their repentance and and Jesus loves them all and he hates their acts but he loves them and, and if we can convert them we can convert them let's just try and build our treasures in heaven where your heart is there's your treasure is also the Lord Jesus said so Yeshua Mashiach Elohim Yasham we sing Elohim 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 Elohim